So I'm in my Canvas discussion board as an instructor, and I'm seeing a post that I strongly suspect to be AI generated. I'm going to show you how I'm able to check this for AI using a kind of roundabout way, um, using the Turnitin AI detector that my school has hooked up into Canvas. So step one, I'm going to select all this text, and I'm going to copy it using Control-C, and then I'm going to paste it in a new file using control V. So this is the entire post that the student wrote supposedly for the discussion board. Okay, I saved that Word file with the student's discussion board post that I pasted into it. And now I'm going to use the roundabout way of checking for AI by going into student view. And I'm going to become the test student in this uh, view. So what that means is I am going to submit that discussion board post to a different type of assignment that has the AI enabled, the AI detector enabled. All right, so I know, for example, if I go into assignments, I've got some assignments here and I know that some of them have the AI detector enabled through turnitin.com. So I'm gonna click on academic argument final because that's one that I know has it. And again, I'm the test student here, so I can submit an assignment if I go to new attempt here, uh, yours might say start new or something like that if it's the first time you've submitted to it. And then I'm going to upload the file just like I was a student. And then I'm going to submit the assignment. After I've submitted the assignment, I'm going to leave the student view and I'm going to be looking at the same page from the perspective of an instructor. And to get to the Turnitin, I'm going to need to go to the speed grader. And there's a lot of different ways you can get there, as you probably already know. And it's going to give me an opportunity to view the student work. So the discussion uh, post I submitted about volleyball, uh, supposedly written by the student, but that I suspect is AI, is right here. It's only showing a 13% similarity report, which is actually pretty normal. Um, but if I click on that, it takes me to the AI detector, which is different than the similarity report. And the AI detector over here says that it is 81% AI. And if I click on that, it's going to give me a much more detailed report on which parts are thought to be AI. So it looks like this last paragraph isn't, but when I'm seeing very broad swaths supposedly coming up as AI, I'm pretty confident that that is not a false positive and that that is very likely uh, AI writing. 